I'd like to welcome everyone to another in a series of webinars by Unipower. My name's John Ely. I'm the Vice President of Marketing, and I will be joined today on the webinar by John Rambin, who is our Head of Technical Services and Head of Applications Engineering. Today, we are going to be discussing DC power systems, and more specifically, small-scale DC power systems up to about 60 amps. Now, if you are or are not familiar with Unipower, we are a manufacturer and designer of these DC power systems, and we really hang our hat on robust, reliable designs. And all of our designs are, are completely configurable. We're gonna show you a little bit about that later on in the webinar. We serve a variety of markets from telecom, data center, renewable energy, utilities, energy storage. Uh, mostly what we're gonna be talking about today fits into the telecom space with a little bit of private utility wireless communications as well. So most of these small scale power systems are, are, are located in telecom or wireless communication space. All the systems that we manufacture are configured and fully tested in our facility in Dunlap, Tennessee. So regardless of the system that you buy, all of them funnel through this for North America applications. So they all go through the center in Dunlap, Tennessee. We manufacture a wide range of DC power systems, small, medium, large, even getting into very large bulk systems. But again, what we're talking about today are the small systems kind of over on the left-hand side of your screen here, uh, up to about 60 amps. And these small systems come in either a 1U or a 2U configuration. Uh, they all have a common controller and a, a selection of two different types of rectifiers. And we'll talk about that in detail as well. And as you can see on the left-hand side, we have a 1U system and below that a 2U system. And the 2U is really just a doubling of, of the 1U system. And we'll talk about that in detail as well. So let's get into the 1U system. And I'm gonna turn it over to John Rambin to take you through this next part of the webinar. Thanks, John. We're looking at the front of the Aspiro 1U product, the M35. Moving from left to right, we see the two slots for rectifiers. The rectifiers can be 800 watt or 1200 watt. Then we see the battery breaker. Got support, a disconnect for one battery. This breaker can be 65, 50, or 40 amp capacities. Load breakers then follow. There's four positions. These can be from one amp all the way up to 30 amps. Then we have the uh, ACX advanced con controller. This is used in all of the Aspiro and Guardian product. The advanced controller supports uh, remote sessions via USB or Ethernet, and we also have support for SNMP v3. The chassis can be mounted in a 19 or 23 inch relay rack. And our returns, then we see the battery hot connection and return. We have a frame ground, an RS-485 connector, and then our AC input connectors. Looking here, our AC input connection supports a single bulk feed, and we also support um, a dual feed. So each rectifier slot can be fed with an independent feed. Now we've moved on to the Aspiro 2U, the M23. This chassis supports up to four rectifier modules using the same 800 watt or 1200 watt rectifier modules. Battery breakers support up to two disconnects. Load breakers, we have a total of eight positions utilizing the same one amp to 30 amp capacity breaker series and the same ACX advanced controllers supported here. And again, we can mount this in 19 or 23 inch relay racks. Connection details for the uh, Aspiro 2U are shown here. We're looking in over the top of the chassis at the distribution bay. So within the distribution bay, on the left-hand side, we have our AC earth ground reference connection. Then looking over the, the top, we see our, our, our battery connections made right behind the batteries themselves. Battery returns are very close, just to the right of the battery hot connections. 
then our load connections are right behind the load breakers themselves. And there's a load return bus with compression terminals for all our loads there. Signal connections are made down the right hand side of the chassis looking over the top. And then our AC connections are made in, in the rear of the unit. And just to the left of those AC connections, we see a place for surge protective devices if deployed. So here we're looking at the front view physical dimensions. Both chassis support 19 or 23 inch mounting. Then 19 and uh, 21 inch ETSI is shown for the MS-23. ETSI is used uh, in Europe. 23 inch is also available for North America. Okay, thank you, John. Um, now I'd like to discuss some of the features of our 1U and 2U system. Let's look at the 1U system first. Let me start at the table on the right-hand side of the slide below the system there. The 1U system comes in two base models. Now, John had talked about configurability and, and using the online configurator. You would select one of these two models from that configurator. The single input, which is the 9035, is mostly used outside of North America. So if you have a customer outside of North America or if they want a single bulk AC input for both rectifiers, you would start with this model and then go through the configurator and choose your controller, your battery breakers, load breakers and cables. The other model, the 9029, is a dual AC input. So it has separate AC feeds to both rectifiers. This is much more typical in a North American application. Again, you choose your controller, your breakers, and, and cables accordingly. And this, again, this is done on the online configurator. So the standard features across the model, these modules are 95% efficient. So e either one of the modules that you choose are, are high efficiency modules, up to 45 amp capacity in the one use system. Remote and monitoring control is done through our PALCOM software. You can connect to that through the network or on the front of the controller through the uh, communications ports on the front of the system. Uh, Ethernet is done through SMMP v3, so it is secure. And the modules and the controller both have LED status indicators. So if you're standing in front of the system, you can get a good visual uh, indication of what the system conditions are just by looking at the front of the unit. Uh, they come standard with four Form C relays. Uh, as well as for load breakers and the battery breaker. Uh, the LCD touchpad is controllable, so you can control this unit from the front, front panel if you are not connected to the Falcom system. And very easy to install. It's a 19 inch or 23 inch rack mount system. Fully covered UL. So we have current standard is covered on the UL, as well as the new standard that will take effect December 21st of 2020. The systems are dual certified, so they're certified for the old and the new standard both. And like all Unipower products, they carry a three-year warranty. The 2U features, again, the 2U is kind of a doubling of the, of the 1U system. Uh, it comes in one model, and these are all individual feeds. So regardless of the application here, the 2U model has four individual AC input feeds for the four different rectifiers. Again, you would choose your controller, your host of battery breakers, load breakers, and cables. Just like the 1U, we have high efficiency modules. Here we have up to a 60 amp output capacity. Remote monitoring is done to the same PowerCom system and the same controller, uh, same communications with the SNMP V3. And again, uh, very identical. You have the status indicators, um, LCD touchpad, same controller on both systems. Again, very easy to install, covered by UL, dual certified, and carries a three-year warranty. So again, two-use system, basically the same as a one-use system, just twice as powerful and twice as uh, many options. Rectifiers. In the Aspiro system, you have your choice of two, either a 1200 watt rectifier or an 800 watt rectifier. And it basically depends on your application. The 1200 watt rectifier is 95% efficient, has a wide AC voltage range, 90 volts all the way up to 300 volts AC input. At 180 volts and below, the 1200 watt rectifier will derate, and that is a linear curve. We can plot that out, so if you know what your 
AC input voltage is, we can plot the output out for you exactly. Um, and they will operate in very high temperature environments, you know, no derating up to 65 degrees C. Now the 800 watt module, a uh, little less efficient, about 90% efficient, but it does not derate that with the AC input. So that that's a, a, a factor when choosing these modules. If you have a load that you know is going to be below 180 volt and you don't want the power output to derate across that entire range, the 800 watt module might be a, a better choice. The controller, again, controller is common between these two platforms. It's, we call it the ACX. It supports up to 65 rectifiers. In these two applications, you're only supporting up to four, but in bigger bulk applications, this, this unit is very powerful, can control uh, up to 256 rectifiers with some external uh, boards. Every ACX controls battery testing and logging. So you can actually perform actual discharge tests and the ACX will log those parameters. You can set that to run automatically or you can run it manually. Either way, it will log the test data. And the ACX has enough memory to log five years worth of, of battery data. Uh, it has a low voltage disconnect that is also user programmable. Uh, you can set that, that voltage to take the batteries out of the system when they discharge to a, a, a predetermined level. And along that line, we also offer temperature compensation. So with lead acid batteries, temperature affects how they like to be recharged. We have temperature probes and the ACX will automatically adjust its charge profile based on the temperature that it sees on the battery. Uh, monthly uh, data logging uh, and alarms and site logging tools as well. And the ACX, while it has enough memory to do five years of battery tests, it will do 20 years worth of logging on the site log. So it actually acts as a site logger as well as a system logger as well. Very powerful, very, very uh, nice little controller here. So that brings us to the end of the formal presentation. I'd like to invite you to uh, look at these data sheets. We've, we've got the both the, the 1U and the 2U on here. If you have the uh, uh, presentation running, you can click on these links, but also invite you to visit us at unipowerco.com. We publish a lot of information, a lot of data on all of our power systems. It can all be found there at unipowerco.com. And if you have any questions, there's a contact page. You can contact a regional manager, an applications engineer, contact us in marketing or sales. Anyone will be able to help you navigate that site and get the answers that you need to make the decision on your DC power systems. So again, I thank you for your time and this concludes our webinar today.